Yeah. Yo, Philly 254 living life. Back at it. Man, we are on a Saturday's edition of How Well Does It Play on the Steam Deck? And there's a reason why we're doing this on a Saturday rather than reg regular weekdays. Because we're playing the Diablo 4 beta on the Steam Deck. So, of course, we're talking about that open beta that, that came live yesterday on Friday. And I played it. Tried to play it, had a lot of issues throughout the day Friday. Played it some um, some more times or some more today. Also played it last night and saw some improvements here and there. So let's talk about it for a minute. Let's talk about it for a minute. First things first, server-wise, and this is, really, this is not a knock. This is not a knock to Blizzard or anything or whatever. It, it, it's a mess. And that's, and, I mean, and they warned us. They said, hey, it's going to be rough because this game is free. So if you don't know, this open beta is for everybody. All you got to do is just play. You know what I'm saying? Download Blizzard, the little Blizzard client, and download the game itself and just go at it. And you're in there. You're in there like Swimwear. No special codes, no signups, no purchases or pre-purchases. This is probably the best way to do it because it, it lets everyone know if whether or not they really want to play the game. And that shows the confidence, the confidence in, in them doing it this way because, you know, if the game sucked, it can really tank the whole sales or whatnot. But the game does not suck. The game does not suck. So server-wise, yeah, it is a mess. And they even warned us, like I said, that it was going to be a mess. So a lot of disconnects. Um, there's a lot of queue, a lot of waiting in the queues or whatnot. Actually, funny thing is when I played this morning around, what, I think it was probably about 7, 8. I actually was getting in pretty quick. Like only, it was like less than a minute to jump into the queue. Then as the morning went on, it obviously got worse. Last night and yesterday, all day yesterday, it was rough. It was 20, 30, 40 minutes. So a lot of lot, a lot of waiting on the queues. Um, today so far, it's probably about 20 minutes, I think, last time I checked. Now, as far as the actual in-game play server-wise, it's still a little rough. So I'm throwing it out there. It is definitely a little rough. I was well yesterday was real bad. I was getting kicked out. I'd probably get like 10, 15 minutes worth of play and I'd get kicked out and couldn't connect to the server or whatnot. It was it was it was frustrating. But that's of course most likely because everybody was playing at the same time. So we was shutting the servers down. It is what it is. It happens it happens. Now now as far as the local client on the Steam Deck itself, how well does it play? I, I'm gonna say this: You will have to make some adjustments, and I'm gonna throw it up on the screen. Some of the adjustments, I, adjustments I've made. Now, initially, the game I already made some adjustments for you. Put certain things on low or whatnot, but you got to make a few more. You got to make a few more, because it's playing it by default, and this could be. I don't. Now, again, this is of course this is beta, so I don't know if updates will come to actually better optimize the gameplay or whatnot, but. Initially, I was getting a lot of stuttering, especially going through certain, you know, through certain areas. Um, game crashes definitely was ha were definitely happening uh, on the Steam Deck. That is game crashing and cause you know the game would completely crash on me or whatnot. Uh, especially during cutscenes, certain cutscenes, and I could tell when it was going to crash on me. When the game was going to crash on me. When I heard that Steam Deck uh, fan kind of just whirl up, it was a wrap. About a few few moments later, it was over. So. You, you can definitely tell the Steam Deck was working at that moment for whatever reason. But this was, of course, now when it was doing all this crap, all this crashing and whatnot, this is before I made any adjustments. And yesterday, I couldn't really test test the adjustments too well because I kept getting kicked out from the servers. And yesterday's server situ situation was too rough. Now, this morning, I was definitely able to play and make some, you know, get some extended gameplay and exactly see, see exactly how it feels. And with the adjustments I've made, I haven't had any more crashes. Stuttering has been much better, very little stuttering or whatnot. So yeah, I did have to make some adjustments, and and I'm not saying the adjustments I made were the most optimal ones, because they may not, they probably weren't, but uh, the they were they worked for me, and pretty sure there's some better optimal ones. I could probably check on Proton DB and see exactly what they're saying, that, you know what they're doing. Of course, if the one thing I will note is that, and I saw a lot of things saying Proton different proton versions you should play uh the experimental it said it had a, it had an update to make it play, more playable or better playable uh there was proton ge uh or ge proton whatever you want to call it and there's a diablo i forgot the exact version name but it's a diablo version and it literally says it in the list diablo so if you don't know how to if you know how to get your new protons go to, you know Pro, i think it's proton qp or qt 
on the desktop mode, download whatever Proton version you need. I still had some issues with um, when I first started the game. It was telling me like uh, it couldn't. It would give me like a weird error message, but then the game would start anyway. And I heard that those different Protons would would eliminate that, but I was still having it, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you were, if you still have had some of those issues. If you actually played in the Steam Deck, that is. As far as the game itself, yeah, man, it's fun. Like, I'm not going to give you a full comprehensive review of what does what. I'm going to tell you right now, I, I'm not a Diablo player. I'm going to flat out tell you. Uh, this is literally the first Diablo I ever played, but I heard so much about it. Some of my friends were telling me about it, like, bro, check out Diablo. Just check it out. Check out Diablo 4. So, I'm not, a, you know, this is br kind of brand new to me as far as Diablo or whatnot. So, I, I'm not going to give you lore and, and what does what and all these power systems and you know who what character i was playing you know i don't know if you saw i might have popped it up by now but you know my dude was the little necromancer and do look like a straight crackhead i'm throwing it out there you know what i'm saying he looked like he was on it he was on it but you know it was fun the gameplay was fun i enjoyed it the, the whole dungeon crawler aspect of it it was fun i did my thing uh i would say this is just the beta of course so hopefully more updates come to optimize it, to make it a little more cleaner, a little more smoother on the Steam Deck itself. But as of right now, even with the way it's playing now, with those adjustments I've made, it definitely was a plus. And it made me a believer. I'm a, you know, so I'm gonna go ahead and purchase the game. And uh, when it comes out, I don't even, I'm not even sure when it comes out. Does it come out in June or something? I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-purchase the game so that way I'll have it when it comes out. And you know, I'm definitely a believer now, and I wasn't even a Diablo fan, but I had fun. I definitely had fun once I made those adjustments. Beforehand, I was like, I don't know about this, man. <laughs> I don't know about this, man. It, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't what it is. But after I made those adjustments, and after the server kind of stabilized, and I wasn't getting kicked out or having server disconnect issues, and I'll show some of those server disconnect disconnections and you know game crashes. I should show. Hopefully, they caught the game crashes on the recordings, and but. Once a lot of those server issues were kind of cleared up some, and of course when I made these adjustments to the actual, you know, to the actual game so that it plays smoother, man, it was fun. I'm throwing it out there, it was fun. So I would say if you haven't, if you haven't tried it out, if you're on the fence, if you don't know how to, you know, you didn't know if it was going to even be worth it on the Steam Deck, try it out. Try it out. It's definitely, it's, it's pretty fun. It's definitely pretty fun. And as always. If you like more Steam Deck news, tutorials, walkthroughs, lives coming soon, I'm not playing with you. Like and subscribe. Cruise through the playlist. And I'm out.